Hey guys, it's your girl Mina here. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. It's a beautiful day and I want you all to stay positive, believe in yourself, keep chasing your goals and never ever give up. So I'm wearing glasses because I'm sitting like directly, literally under the sun. It's quite bright so it kind of paints my eye. And I'm just, uh, I have like just 10 to 15 minutes to set up the whole store and get ready for work. And I get to enjoy this amazing view from work as you guys can see how amazing like literally if there's uh, an activity if there's a sport or any events going on I get to see it live from here it's so much fun anyway back to my main story of the day so today just something quick I just want to let especially my African people I want to let you guys know this four or five things if you're planning to move to UAE UAE in specific because it's part of the Middle East all right so first number one I want you to prepare yourself mentally physically and psychologically ready because when you come here reality is quite different reality is very different you have to prepare your mind such that when you come you don't get so surprised you don't get like whoa you know because it hits me hard because I <laughs> I didn't expect it this way but anyway I've gotten used to it but it's not a big deal it's something you get used to when you you know travel or you move to a new city or anywhere so prepare yourself once you come in just prepare your mind and everything to fit in and then everything will go well for you now when you come the first and most important thing I want you to get is uh, if you are based in Dubai you need to get this this is the bus card you can use this for bus and you can use this for metro it's very important it doesn't i think it goes it costs 25 dirhams and you can top it up depending on where you want to go and if you are based in abu dhabi this is what you're gonna get this is abu dhabi card and this is dubai card so you can see there's a huge difference and the good thing about this is if you are based in abu dhabi and you're going to dubai you can use this card as well it's 25 dirhams so you tap it before you enter so these are the most two important the first thing you need when you come all right it's this bus card because taxi are hella expensive especially in dubai taxi is crazy expensive so you should know that and secondly one thing i want you to get ready for it's accommodation now if you are a well-to-do person i don't see why you should move here but maybe you might want to change environment so you'll be able to afford uh, a studio which will cost you probably between two thousand uh between three thousand and five thousand dirhams so you can calculate it in your currency and see that's a whole lot of money so if you are like a you know start start up you're trying to like you know find something and build up your life the most the things that the, the most common accommodation people usually go for it's um, bed space and um, partition partition is a little expensive because it's kind of like they call it so-called little privacy but it's not really private so usually people go for bed state I stay in a partition because uh, I live very close to the mall and it's I live in Abu Dhabi actually now for me when I was in Dubai I prefer to live in a partition because I try to stay in a bed space I couldn't stay I got sick within one week I almost literally died because it was so dirty you know you kind of like meet different people so people go out people do stuff people come in you're sharing the same stuff so it's very 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 difficult so you have to be very very careful it's better even if you are living in a bed space have your own stuff don't share your stuff uh, whatever it is even you keep cooking it does will even encourage you to even share it but it depends if maybe you are two friends you can you know have your stuff together and still share so the, the whole thing is you just have to be economical to fit in so if bed space is affordable for you you go for it if position is affordable for you you go for it and then thirdly job search now I want you guys to understand something when you come here people are gonna tell you like this people are gonna tell you a whole lot of different things but one thing I want you to know if you said just search your mind and accept that okay I'm gonna get it the most commonly jobs available is housekeeping uh, waitress even wait I'm not gonna even put it but waitress is very hard you know they kind of look at your appearance the way you speak and blah 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 the, the charisma so waitress is like a startup job that's what I got I it took me almost seven months and then that was the first job I got and it's still the same company I'm still working in 
it's not that bad because in time you're gonna learn a lot and then it also depends on the kind of people who manage you if you're happy to have like good managers around you can really learn a lot and develop yourself so in terms of the job that I want you to have a positive and open mindset okay if you have support from somebody back home maybe you can take time to kind of uh, search for the job you want but if you think you don't have uh, any support and you are depending on your three month visa you can take up anything some people even go for nannies but today they are having good jobs you know so it's just a st i want you to have an open mindset and then accept the fact that this is what i'm gonna do for a start but it doesn't mean you should accept it totally because you never know you could find something good you know so that's what i want, I want you to have an open mindset in terms of job search all right and then for the accommodation part when you move in probably in the beginning you might not like know where to stay blah blah so maybe you have some friends here who will help you to stay in blah 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 but after you fully um, settled in I would encourage you to stay in the same vicinity with a lot of Africans uh, now whatever you guys choose to say but I'm just telling you me when I moved in based on stories and a lot of stuff I chose not to stay with like Africans in the same build a lot of Africans in the same building because if there's an if there's any like uh, because occasionally they do um, you know um, what is it called? what's the right English word they do like arrest a lot of people maybe if there's a criminal if there's a lot of criminal activities involved in Africans the rage buildings and the, it doesn't matter if you have your Emirates ID this is the Emirates ID if you're a legal resident this is what you're gonna have it's gonna anywhere you're going you, ha you have to carry this on you it's very very important once you have a job and you have your visa out your employer will get you this but you my company I paid for it but it's still owned by the company because it's under the company's visa so this is what you're gonna have it's very very important now back to the raging story whether you are a resident or whatever they don't care they arrest you and recently a lot of people have been deported so I will advise you once you fit in within two three months try to move away you can stay with Africans, but just make sure the building is not so crowded. Because the reason I'm saying is the mentality and the stereotype against on we Africans, it's it's like real. You cannot change it, whether you accept it or not. I'm not it's not about being racist, but I just feel like some Africans cause a lot of nuisance and therefore they tend to judge every African. Now, currently, a lot of Nigerians are losing their job because the company, uh, apparently, I had we don't know what i don't know the real story but i think there's a hold on issue in the work visas and people who have, nigerians who have been working here legally have been hard working taking care of themselves their families have lost their jobs because they cannot get their visa renewed and it's very sad it's really not fair just because of a few newsatic news people who have caused news and it's affecting other people which is quite not fair you understand so that's what i'm gonna say and then uh last but not the least what am i gonna say okay once you f you find your job like i said in my other video always plan yourself if you're gonna stay if you're in the company okay usually the contract is for two years so if you're in the company for two years and then you realize oh there's no improvement like you're not uh growing you're just stagnant i will advise you with your experience search for new opportunities there's always open opportunities there's always opportunities available sometimes the job market fluctuates and some currently the job market is very it's like it's in demand in demand because export is starting soon and there's a lot of activities gonna happen there's a lot of businesses that are opening up more and more business are opening so currently the demand in job is very 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 high you understand so yeah have an open mindset UAE is an amazing country if, like I said if you plan properly and you come depends on you on how you want to stay here if you are lucky to get a good job I mean why not you could stay here for five years six years get whatever you want because it's not a place where you can permanently stay forever because you're never gonna have uh, documents of your own even if it's for visa the visa is for a limited period of time you understand anyway you cannot stay here without a visa but it's just not a place where I see myself um, unless maybe unless I become a millionaire by chance of course i want to be a billionaire i want to be a billionaire i don't know when but i'm just like putting the reality in place so guys if you're planning to move to the uae get ready have all this in mind have an open mindset and you shall do well it's a great place it's one of the most 
one of the most beautiful things about this country is safety safety is on the high call everybody is protected and there's nothing to be worried about so if you're planning to come here and you have any questions just drop it in the comment section and i will definitely respond when i see it so best of luck and take care and once again uae is an amazing country and much love guys